Hi everyone, may the peace of the Lord be with you. Here we are again in another lockdown. I don't think any of us can quite believe it, but what is so clear everyone is that you're working so, so hard for all the work that your teachers are setting you at home. Please, please, please keep going. Do your best, give it everything and make sure you let us know if you are having any troubles. This week I've given your teachers a really tricky task of letting you know two children who've worked exceptionally hard this week at home. Let's see who's been getting on really well. Good morning, St. John's. It's Mrs. Brown Bill here, and I am going to be nominating two children from the early years who've been doing fantastic learning at home. And they're both children who've been doing videos and photos on tapestry and children who've been doing lots of work on mini mash and whose trays are full up of beautiful work for me to look at. So the first child I'm going to be nominating today is Summer. Summer in the nursery. She has been doing incredible home learning, boys and girls. For the last two weeks, we have been learning all about the book, We're Going on a Bear Hunt. And Summer went out for a walk one day with her daddy and collected lots of leaves and lots of twigs and things that she could use in a 3D model of our story. And I'm so, so proud of the way that she has learnt all about this text and has done some beautiful drawings about it as well. Summer has also been on Mini Mash and she's been playing lots of maths games. And I'm so pleased to see that she has been learning her 2D shapes. So well done, Summer. Keep it up. And I can see that your big sisters and your mummy and daddy have been helping you as well. And that's wonderful. I'm so pleased that you've been learning together as a family and supporting each other. So thank you so much, Summer O'Grady. Now in reception, I must say I'm particularly proud of Millie this week. It was really difficult to choose because lots of children in reception have been working really hard. But Millie has been amazing with her phonics. And I can see some wonderful videos on tapestry of Millie trying to sound out some words. And I'm so, so proud of the wonderful artwork that she's making on Minnie Mash. And she's also been thinking about the book We're Going on a Bear Hunt, and she's made the most incredible map from the story. So well done you, Millie. Keep up all your hard work, and well done to all the mums and dads who I know are working so hard with their children at home. I really do love looking at all of your photos and videos on Tapestry. So thank you guys, and I really hope to see you all soon. Take care, bye. Hello year one, and well done to all of you who've been doing your purple mash work over the last few weeks. Lots of you are making me feel so pleased with all of the work that you've been doing, not only about our story, Man on the Moon, A Day in the Life of Bob, but also lots of wonderful maths work as well and some nice drawings too. So well done for the people who've been going on to Purple Mash every day and doing their learning. Uh, but there's two people particularly who are going to be my stars of the week this week. Uh, person number one is Caden. Caden, you have been working so hard and I can see that you have been going on to Purple Mash every day and doing a little bit of English, a little bit of maths and a bit of reading and some other things. We've seen some PSHG from you this week as well, Caden. So well done, Caden. Uh, super duper work. And the piece of work that made me feel really tickly in my tummy, Caden, was your a day in the life of. Caden, you did a fantastic job with that piece of work and you told me all about a day in the life of Caden, which was really interesting. And it's just a bit like our day in the life of Bob that we've all been looking at. The next person who I'd like to say a big well done to is Channa. Channa, you've never met me, you've never been to St. John's classroom, and you have done such a fantastic job with engaging with the learning that I've been setting for the year one children. You've been doing lots of maths work and some beautiful writing, 
and a piece of work that I picked out from Channa was working on paper because that's what Channa finds easiest to do. Um, so Channa has been doing her maths on paper because she's come into school and picked up her home learning pack from the school. So well done Channa. And well done to all of the grown-ups. Big round of applause to the grown-ups who are having to get involved and help their children to do their home learning. I know it's not easy, but uh, you're doing a fantastic job. Don't give up uh, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's going really swimmingly and I'm really pleased with everybody. And I can't wait to talk to you all on the phone later on this week. Bye, year one. Hi, year two, it's Miss Moses. So this week, I would love to celebrate all of you. You've all been doing so well and I'm so impressed. I'm particularly impressed with those children joining in with Google Classroom because I can see how hard you've been working. But for today, I would like to celebrate Mina. Mina, you've been working really hard on your guided reading comprehension. I can see that you've been trying to work hard on your capitals and your full stops and your work on the crayons was really lovely when you made sentences with the curse. And secondly, I would like to choose Ayman. Ayman, you've done so well. Your maths is fantastic and you've also been working really hard on your writing. I love seeing the work that you've sent in to me. Keep doing that. I really like seeing your work, guys, and it's brilliant for me to see how hard you've been working. Well done to you, Ayman, and well done to Mina, and well done to all of class two. You're doing so well. Keep it up, guys. Bye. Hello St John's and Year 3 especially. I miss you all so much. So I am really happy that we have Purple Mash to stay in touch. Now I've been really enjoying the work that all of you have been doing at home and I can tell that you must be working really hard. Which is extra amazing because we are currently in the middle of two new topics. So first let's talk about Greek myths. We started the topic with a look at the world of ancient Greece and all the amazing gods they worshipped. Now, a really important part of ancient Greek religious belief was that of the underworld, ruled over by Hades, king of the dead. We looked at all the different parts of Hades' kingdom, and my first amazing student used her imagination to draw a map of the underworld she ever wanted to visit and try and ask Hades for a favour. Jessica, for that's who drew this amazing map, also wrote pages of notes about each of the areas in the underworld too. Fantastic research, fantastic writing, fantastic drawing, and fantastic imagination, Jessica. Well done. The second student who's really impressed me in year three this week was Megan. Our big topic this term is about the Stone Age, a time in human history before anything else humans had ever done. As we found out, the only tools humans had at the time were made of stone. That's why it's called the Stone Age. Now, what Megan did is make an amazing piece of Stone Age jewelry. Now, I know this necklace looks like it was made from stones, but it is actually made from plain old dough that Megan has painted to look like stones. She also tweeted it to St John's official Twitter account, which is a really fantastic idea to do with work you're really proud of. I hope everyone starts doing that so we can fill up our Twitter feed with all the incredible work you are doing at home. Okay, I'm going to pass over to year four now, so stay safe and keep up the good work. Hi Year 4, I just want to announce the two stars of the week. So it is Kaya for her fabulous drawing of the Iron Man using similes to describe him. It was amazing, so well done Kaya and keep up the really great work with your online learning. And Kaylin, whose letter to Farmer Hughes was fantastic. Lots of capital letters and full stops and it was amazing. So well done Kaylin and keep up the really great work on your home learning. I'll be picking two more stars for next week, so keep uploading your work to either Purple Mash or Google Classroom and I look forward to reading through it. Good luck guys. Hi Year 5, it's Mrs Barkey here. I do hope you're keeping well and safe. 
I want to say first of all thank you to all the children in year five who are working really hard and who are completing the work on a daily basis in Purple Mash. It's really important that we don't uh, lose that amazing progress that we started um, you know, in the autumn term. It's really important that we continue from there. So there are two children I've selected today. The first child is somebody who's been really working hard in their maths, showing great resilience and really thinking about the res responding to my feedback and my comments. And it's great to see that child actually really do very well in their flashback for quizzes every day. This child is Thailand. Well done Thailand, fantastic work. I'm really impressed that you're doing so much work at home. Keep up the great work. The second child I'd like to say well done to is somebody who's been uploading their work on a regular basis and I'm really impressed by the quality of their written work in particular. Really thinking about their sentence choices, their punctuation and even ensuring that it's really been um, beautifully presented as well. Um, I was really impressed by some of the thoughtful and reflective PHEC work that's also been produced as well. So well done to Emily. Interestingly, Emily and Tylan, you are the head girl and head boy in year five, school council representatives. And I'm loving the fact that you are being role models, not just in school, but you're also being role models at home as well. So well done to you both. Keep up the fantastic work. To the rest of the children in year five, I'm impressed by the children who are doing their work and completing it to a high standard. You know who you are, because I give you regular feedback when I do see your work. Please make sure that you continue. Please keep being the best, doing the best, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Hi, Year 6, it's Miss Walker here. So this week, I am nominating two people that I think have worked so hard on Purple Mash and all the home learning since we've come back. Um, my first nomination is Tyrese. He has done all the work to a much higher standard um, than sort of last time on Purple Mash um, and really trying to use that year six vocabulary and punctuation and all the maths, um, mental maths papers and uh, maths worksheets I sent in the first few weeks. He has done them all and then taken photos of them and uploaded them back to me so I can mark them. So he's done extremely well. So well done Tyrese. And my second person is Michael. He has worked really, really hard on all of his pieces. Again, um, people who um, are doing the serial mash, obviously books, and then there's a task each day. Um, he's done them into, he's done all of them into real detail and given in work to me each time that I, that I would expect in the year six classroom. So I am really, really impressed. Keep it up, and next week I can't wait to give it to two more of you. Bye.